Okay, it's Sunday morning. I'm at um, Pipeworks up in, I suppose it's Footscray, or Pipeworks Park. I'm not 100% sure on the Footscray bit, but I'm on the Barrenbrunong River anyway. So I'm gonna do, I'm up to, uh, I think this is walk 13 in the book. That's the Maribyrnong River walk. Um, as you can see, the weather's, uh, weather's turned a little feral. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. We'll just deal with it. It's not too bad on these little walks. I can always um, return to the car in between. So... I'll let you know, uh, the video might be a little bit thin on the ground today. We'll see how we go. It's a bit, um, it's a bit hard wrangling everything with one hand. Wrangling the camera, wrangling the trekking umbrella, trying to work out my notes. But anyway, first world problems, eh? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get back to you. Oh, there's the river down now. I'll get back to you in a minute. I'll spin the camera around. So that's the river over to my um, to my right over there. This is the old pipe makers building. Geez, that bluestone one's been there for a while, hasn't it? So the Maribyrnong is kind of Melbourne's forgotten river. Everyone knows about the Yarra, but um, the Maribyrnong, Maribyrnong is um, one quarters big it's not much shorter i guess we're probably tidal here um no maybe not i'm not sure but yeah it's um it's quite an impressive river has its own trail, the main Yarra Trail. wouldn't be a series of walks in Melbourne if I didn't cop some interesting weather. All right, I better start walking, I think. I'm going to um, swing away from the river onto a wetland section here for a little bit. So these wetlands are all part of the uh, Maribyrnong River flood mitigation kind of system. There's some big floods down here. I don't know if it was last year before. A bit of controversy about um, some of the area around Flemington. Remember I mentioned the floods? Uh, there you go. Alright, I'm going to go off piste up and over this bridge now and get onto the other side of the river. So that's the um, Flemington race course over there. So I'll be walking around. I'm on the a little bit of land between it and the and the river. Although when the races are on um, I reckon it'll be pretty busy through here. No danger of races this morning, though. So 
I'm going to swing back across the river at that bridge up there. Check out that um, Chinese temple over there. And then swing back up river. Now normally I would have shown you a few views of the city from here, but or from just back there, but you'd be shocked to know there's not a lot in the way of views today at this stage. So apparently this bridge was, um, it's an old stock bridge. It does look that way. And it was relocated from Richmond. So um, I'm crossing the river now, obviously. I'm trying to wrangle the uh, trekking umbrella, the camera, and stay dry at the same time. Who said blokes can't multitask? Only thing is, I'm having limited success at any of those tasks. And that mural is no doubt paying homage to the uh, the history of this stock bridge. So this uh, Chinese temple's been a work in progress for a while. Okay, so now it's just a matter of walking back to pipe walks, probably three and a half, four k's. Got the high tension wires buzzing in the rain above me. It's certainly been the most industrial walk I've done so far. It's a mixture of industry. Obviously there's parkland down in the river. There's some housing now springing up some trendy houses and some of those high rises you can see in the distance of public housing. Not all of them, some of them are trendy. Not that public housing isn't trendy, public housing is a good thing but uh, they didn't tend to build them. <laughs> Very aesthetically pleasing back in the day. Even the bin chickens are looking a bit wet and bedraggled this morning. So that's probably a better look at Flemington from this side of the river, actually. So I'm back at the, um, the flood retaining kind of wetlands just upstream from... Um, the race course. I'm skirting around the riverside of it this time. I walked the inland side. I don't know if I videoed around those apartments this morning. Um, but yeah, you can do a loop. There's a series of kind of walking tracks around here, which are pretty good. And then there's always the river over there. I wonder how close the, the flood's got to those houses at the bottom there. 
From what I heard, it was pretty high. So I'm just back at Pipe Makers Park. This is another one of those awesome places if you had kids. I like um, Skeleton Creek last night out at Tartneet. Kids have certainly got it better nowadays. I, uh, I was lucky to have a steel slide. It used to get to about 60 degrees in the, uh, in the summer heat. Maybe a seesaw that you risk spinal damage on if someone jumped off at the wrong time. And one of those things that spun you around in circles. If you happen to slip, you get flung out into the into the playground at a million miles an hour. That was all good. All right, this is uh, this is where I finished the walk. I think up here. Okay, that um. That little Maribyrnong River walk is number 13 in the book. It's my first walk for Sunday. Um, look, obviously, it wasn't the best. Um, the weather, the weather um, didn't play ball at all. It's rained the whole time I've been on the track. Um, so at 8.4 k's, I was out in the rain for a fair while. But the walk itself apart from the weather um it's actually not too bad you got um it's like a industrial kind of land out here or a lot of it's old industrial some of it's still still industry um i don't mind that kind of urban walking it's kind of rough but looks good um and there are some views of the city although they were well and truly obscured today all right i'm going to jump the car and drive off a bit and head off to my next walk I'll catch up with you then.